You know, I've always enjoyed this artist. You know, it's just, I really, really, really enjoyed this man here. And today I'm going to be talking about my introduction to... Ready, folks? Johnny Mathis. This is uh, the most requested... Uh, oh, 16 most requested songs. Here are the requested... Got Chances Are, Misty, Wild as the Wind, uh, The Twelfth of Never, ah, oh, great stuff. Got all that blend of just great, just awesome, just great top 40 tune or top 40 hit tunes by this man, Johnny Mathis. So my introduction to, how did I get introduced by Johnny Mathis? Well, when I was a little boy, when I was a little infant, uh, my dad, back in the early 90s, he enjoyed, in fact, in the early 80s, he loved making mixtapes. I mean, back when he was in college, he loved uh, making mixtapes and stuff, and he really enjoyed the disco dance scene, you know what I mean? He really enjoyed the New Wave era. He liked all that stuff, and he really, really enjoyed making those kind of mixtapes on uh, disco and dance, and there was a radio station called BLS, and, um, you know, he would you know, record them off his cassette deck or whatever, you know, and kind of remix them as he kind of turns the volume down and puts it back up to get the next song rolling in. And I, he really enjoyed, but the one thing he really liked enjoying, that he really liked to do, was make Christmas cassette tapes. And here's one of them. You know, the standard TDK. This was like an early, very early 90s, uh, clear, uh, you know, this was this only got you know this is like a type one so it doesn't it sounds pretty good I and mean, he had a pretty good stereo system back in the day I remember he was telling me stories that he had like two turntables and like you know like multiple cassette decks so he had like a lot of you know stereo stuff and uh, this is how I got introduced by Johnny Mathis as you can tell right here not well don't pay attention to the great songs of Christmas but a Christmas album is how I got introduced, and he recorded off of this, uh, which I believe I showed you guys, I think, last year, or, you know, this past July of 2019, this, the uh, the Christmas album. And uh, and here it is on the back, is Johnny Mathis' Sleigh Ride. And over, and of course, over the span of time and stuff, I really enjoyed all of Johnny Mathis' Christmas stuff, and in fact, all of those classic Christmas songs all came from his classic Christmas album from 1958. And I just love it. I really, really do. Percy Faith, what a great conductor. He just really puts this Christmas scene together, you know. And, and, and like I said in my uh, Percy, Percy Faith Christmas review or whatever, I, you know, I was kind of, I, you know, as in my review, I was just like, in, you know, I with all the songs, they're just so fantastic. I don't know how, it's so like, you know, it's in its own imaginary world, you know? And Johnny Mathis is just such an incredible artist. I mean, who doesn't, I, I really, really like enjoy his stuff. And over the years, I just got really into his stuff. And in fact, here's another Christmas album. This is from 1986 called Christmas Eve. Yeah, from uh, 1986. Uh, this was like a standard cassette tape. Uh, there's like stories behind this with my, my dad getting this. He actually got it for my mom, actually, back in the early 90s. And uh, I got a kick out of this. This is part of my childhood, too. Oh, yes, indeed. And uh, I really just got into him, really just enjoying all of his music and stuff. And just not too long ago, maybe like 2015, 2016, I really got into a lot of his stuff. That's when I had, that's how I really got into Chances Are and Wonderful, Wonderful. And just over the years and the expand of that time, and now, uh, you know, I really enjoyed his stuff. In fact, one of the most greatest albums he ever put out, and maybe one day I'll even review it, is Heavenly. Now this is, uh, for any of you Burt Bacharach fans out there, Bacharach. Uh, Heavenly is a Bacharach tune. And uh, on here, it's just awesome. There's a read-up here on, uh, you know, this all the songs and stuff, and uh, shows you some other um, albums that you can get to. Uh, One Fire, Two Guitar, I think that was like, uh, yeah. 
So yeah, it's great stuff. This album, you really, anybody, anybody out there, even if you're not a Johnny Mathis fan, you, I mean, you know, whatever. Listen to this. This is classic. It's beautiful. Ballads. Feels like you're in a mystic world, like Misty. And uh, that's all. You gotta, oh, man. People, just look it up on YouTube. Heavenly by Johnny Mathis. Listen to the damn album. You will enjoy it. Also got this last year. It is called Magic Moments. It also has Ray Khan of two, but also I mainly got it just because it has Johnny Mathis. I actually got this at a Goodwill. Actually, I wouldn't show the price. Just for the matter of respect. Sorry. So uh, this box set contains uh, sections of uh, just one side Mathis, the other side uh, Ray Conniff. And you get a total of, let's see, uh, do, 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 do. you get a total of five records. And each side has this different compilation of just different songs that came from different albums that, you know, each and one of them had. So there's a section called Johnny for the Good Times, Johnny's Love Story, uh, Johnny at the Theater, uh, Johnny Feeling Good. That was a really great cover of Light My Fire, by the way, on the, the Feeling Groovy, um, which was actually was, I believe it was, one of his albums was called Feeling Groovy, I think. And then, of course, you have the best of for uh, Johnny Mathis. Chances are, wonderful, wonderful, certain smile. And uh, it's not for me to say. Try to be like Johnny. <laughs> Anyways, great stuff here. Um, look it up. Go on to Scoggs. You know, if you guys are fans out there of Johnny Mathis, hey, you know, check it out. And then last year, I came across these kind of like really underrated box sets, you know, that I don't really, or, you know, I don't really see as often. So I came across this one, which has this all of just this great, this four great Columbia studio albums that he came out with at the time. These aren't like in order, but these are just mostly uh, some of his uh, stuff from the late 50s and early 60s. Uh, starting with Johnny Mathis, I believe that's his debut, and then, uh, what is the other one? Johnny. So, so from Johnny Mathis all the way to Johnny. And this incredible kind of, uh, it looks kind of old. I bought it on eBay last year. As you can tell the creases here. I bought it last year for like, I don't know, 10 bucks. And uh, let me just, uh, yeah, well, can't, well, whatever. Look it up. Go on eBay, you know, whatever. Check it out, you know. Have some good stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then this other box set contains uh, his Mercury records. So... In the late 1950s, uh, you know, he came big with the Christmas album, and I think his last album was, I think was shown on the Heavenly album, I believe. I believe it was called Open Fire Two Guitars, I believe. That was his last album from the 50s. So in the early 60s, he got assigned to, um, to another record label, and he wasn't sure which record label to go to, so I guess Mercury called him, and he's like, hey, you know, uh, we can make you a big deal on, uh, you know, on albums and whatever. And he got uh, signed with Columbia, or Columbia Rec uh, Mercury Records. So this box that I'm going to be showing you in just a few here contains all of his Mercury 60s albums, pretty much. And uh, starts off with Sounds of Christmas. This is actually a really good uh, Christmas album, by the way. This was the second Christmas album. And it's contained in this Johnny Mathis Complete Global Albums. And I don't know why they call it Global Albums, but... Um, also, uh, in this uh, Columbia box, or uh, mainly it's all of his Mercury albums. The Complete Mercury box set also contains an unreleased album called Broadway. And uh, some of you may be aware of these songs. Hello, Dolly. Manhattan. Uh, when I'm near the girl I love. Some songs I, you know what I mean? 
I'm not like too familiar with old school Broadway, but you know, you get what I mean. And it uh, also contains some, uh, you know, some unreleased tracks, you know, bonus stuff. So very interesting. So if you are a Johnny Mathis fan like me, I, su I su suggest you get the all complete Mathis. This is all of his Mercury records, all in this little box set here. So, oh yeah. And also some of his later um, albums covers a lot of Burt Bacharach. I mean, he started off with uh, Heavenly from the, you know, from the Heavenly album. But he covers uh, Always There at Some True, or uh, There is always something there to remind me. And uh, I say a little prayer for you. So he does all that kind of stuff on his uh, later stuff on the Mercury on the box set here. So that is it, folks. Uh, not much to really kind of talk about more. Just my introduction to Johnny Mathis. Thank you guys so much for watching, and take care. Have a great day.